library with Speedway Down Under and here to interview Jamie McDonald about the upcoming 2016-17 season. So Jamie, how has the off-season been going for you? What have you been up to? Yeah, pretty good. Um, well, it was really good this off-season. We started really early and, uh, and got a good jump on things um, and uh, got into talks with our sponsors early. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we, as a result, we finished early, so we're, we're ready for first practice at Bay Park, so it's been really good off-season. Awesome. So for the upcoming season, what chassis and engine are you running? Uh, so I'll be running the same chassis we've been running for the last 13 years, which is a J&J, Rachel yeah. Allen frame, and uh, we've been campaigning a Kistler 14 engine uh, for the last six years, so same package as last year. Okay, cool, so it expects similar things? Well, fair results, obviously, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're really happy with what we run. Um, so yeah, we're, we're taking that into the season. Awesome. So Jamie, when did you show an interest you know, in racing or start racing? Well, I, I was going to Speedway uh, from a very young age, four or five, with, uh, with my father, Bruce. And uh, I just loved it. Um, I used to sit in the cars after the racing and I used to fill my program out with all the driver's signatures. So like most young kids, um, I showed interest early on and was lucky enough to, uh, to drive a quarter midget. And then went to TQs. Uh, my uncle and my father both raced TQs. Uh, so I raced them and 13 years ago started in the Sprint Jamie, do you have a favourite track or a track you're not as comfortable at or a bogey track or anything like that? Yeah, my favourite track is obviously my home track, Western Springs. Um, I really like the Royal Pony Speedway. Uh, it's a really racy place. Uh, also, I'm quite fond of Cromwell. So those are probably my three favourite places to go racing here in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, my bogey track would definitely be Palmerston North. Um, probably the main reason I've, I've had a few big accidents there. I broke my back there um, a few years ago. Uh, and it's just it's really narrow, it's quite slick and it's quite challenging. Um, the cushion can get right up by the fence. So yeah, probably results wise, Army would be my bogey track, but uh, we definitely want to get better there. So. We're there for a round of the international series this year, so yep. um, hopefully we can make that add that to the favourites list. Perfect. So, what hobbies do you have outside of speedway? Well, uh, I've raced. Well, I've raced. I, I ride motocross. Um, I really enjoy that. Anything with an engine, basically, I'm, I'm interested in. But uh, my son was born last year, so he's just over one now. So. Uh, you know, a lot of my spare time is taken up with uh, doing things with him and uh, you now he's walking and running and climbing, he's, uh, he's a lot more fun so we're starting to do more things with him. Yeah. So what is the most enjoyable part of being involved with Speedway? Probably, definitely, is, is all the time I get to spend with my guys, you know, they're not, they're not just crew guys, they're, they're good friends of mine um, and you know, we work all winter on the car building it, we have a lot of fun, we take a lot of pride in, in building these race cars. So half the fun is, is the six months during the winter, and obviously we love racing them, and uh, all of us are really competitive by nature. So yeah, I mean it's just just spending time doing what I love with you know the guys that are close to me, and uh, yeah, we get the ball going. Yeah. So Jamie, do you have a racing page for fans to follow? Yeah, we used to have a website, but um, I think Facebook's a thing now. So yeah, I've got a, a Facebook just under my name, and uh, we we try and post. You know what's going on, new pictures and race updates during the night and afterwards. Um, so you can find that under my name. Cool. Um, who's your crew for the upcoming season and the, any supporters you'd like to thank? Yep, so my crew, uh, Lee Rusher, he's my crew chief. Um, I've got Duncan, Ellen, and a new guy, James. And we've got Jason helping us this year as well. But there, there's a lot of people that actually help us. Too many to list. But, um, yeah, we're, we're never sure. There's always someone yeah. who will step up on the night if, if someone can't make it. Yeah, I've got a great group of guys around me. And any supporters or anything? Oh, look, too many, too many <laughs> to list, and, and they all know who they are, and I've got a great bunch of sponsors. Otashi, Jay Russell, yeah. ABLF Movers, they're all on the wing there. Um, they're, they've been great, you know, I, I wouldn't even get close to the track without those guys, so I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity to go racing, and have been racing for as long as I have. Um, so yeah, you know, there's a great bunch of people who uh, get to do what I love. So thank you for that. Absolutely. If there was anything you could change about Speedway, what would it be? Uh, probably, I wish we could do more of it. Um, we, we're fairly heavily regulated now with Western Springs with the noise and everything. Uh, we have to be finished by 10.30. Um, you know, back in the day we used to do uh, 20 odd race meetings. So, yeah, it'd be good if, um, if we could do more racing for longer and, and make a bit of noise. I mean, it's, it's not that noisy. And uh, while we're at it, maybe bring back the car park feature. 
So Jamie, on race day, do you have any superstitions or rituals? Uh, pretty much a creature of habit. I like to do the same things every Saturday morning. Uh, keep the nerves at bay, you know, everything's familiar. And probably the one thing is I tend to change in the, in the changing in the same spot. And I have done for the last 20 years. And again, it's just keeping to the routines. And yeah, just so when, when you get to race time, you know, everything's you're in the probably calmest possible state. Everything's familiar. So yeah, no real superstition. Cool. So do you get nervous before racing? Yeah, I think um, probably the moment I don't get nervous before racing is probably time to stop doing it. Um, I think, mean, you know, nerves are just the body's way of getting ready um, for something that, that you care about. But yeah, definitely nervous, but yeah, I suppose the longer you race, the, the better you get at controlling it. Um, but, you know, you still embrace it as a good thing. Um, probably get more nervous before interviews than racing, actually. But uh, yeah, that's no, a good thing. Yeah. So who's the toughest competitor you've raced against? Uh, I've probably answered that two ways. Um, without a doubt, Donny Shots when he was here, I mean, he's the best in the world. Um, so he's he's super, super quick, super talented. He does things in a race car that you don't even think is possible. Uh, so in terms of, he's probably the, you know, the toughest one. But on a regular basis, you've got Jonathan Allard here. Um, so he's... He's a professional driver um, and he's quick every week. So any time you beat him, you take a lot of satisfaction out of it and, and you kind of figure you must be doing something right. And then you've got all your top Kiwi guys and there's you know an easy six, eight of those. Um, and, and they're all really talented and quick guys as well. So any race you want is, is one that you enjoy and there are no easy ones. So, yeah. So a lot of competition to expect for that coming season? Yeah, I think there's a few new guys coming, which is really good. Um, you know, we need more numbers in, in the sprint cars, and uh, it sounds like the Bay Park guys are going to come up as well, which um, we welcome them. Um, and it's all about the win on a spectacle for the fans. And uh, the more cars we can have, the better. We'll be excited to watch. Yeah. Cool. So, Jamie, what is your biggest achievement in your career so far? Uh, well, I guess I'd have to say winning the New Zealand title in 2007. Um, but just recently, last year, we brought up um, 50 feature wins. Um, and that was a, a milestone that we were, were gunning for, for for a wee while. Um, so we're pretty proud of that fact. Um, you know, we've, we've been doing it a wee while, but uh, every year that goes on, it's getting harder to win. So um, to bring up that milestone was really nice, and uh, and now we're just trying to rack up a few more. So looking forward to work, like competing in the New Zealand champs again? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we always want to win New Zealand title. There's something special about having number one on the back of the car. Um, but. Equally as satisfying as, as winning a feature at Western Springs. I mean, it's a special place to win one, and it's probably the hardest place to win one. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, the New Zealand title was special, and we'd like to get another one. Very impressive results. <laughs> so, what is your favourite track you've raced on overseas, and what is the track on your bucket list? Um, probably the Knoxville Nationals, uh, Knoxville and Iowa. Um, that's a hell of a place, half a mile track. Um, pretty scary, and obviously all the, the big dogs are there, so there's a fairly Intimidating, intimidating place to race, but um, we'd really like to one day um, get to California and run a quarter miles over there where Jonathan Allard races. I think that'd be really cool. We've run in Australia before and Toowoomba and Parramatta. They've got great tracks over there, uh, but California would definitely be a place um, that we'd like to go in the future. Hopefully one day you'll be able to do. Yeah, I mean, we've all got day jobs and, and businesses to run and it's just a matter of finding the time and the money. Um, yeah. We're really lucky with our sponsors here, but um, we run a really full season here of 25 to 30 nights, so there's not a lot of money left over at the end mm -hmm. to, to go and, and do racing overseas, but yeah, we'd like to go to California one day. So Jamie, tell us one thing about yourself that fans wouldn't know. Is there any hidden talents or secrets? I used to play like rugby when I was younger, and um, I got as far as uh, the under 16 New Zealand trials, um, so I didn't quite make the final cut, but we got fairly far up, but um, yeah, I played a lot of rugby um, uh, through rep teams in North Harbour and that, so that, that was one of my passions growing up. Thank you, Jamie, for allowing us to come and interview you. It's been a wonderful afternoon. Um, we at Spivo Down Under would like to thank you and wish you all the best of luck for the upcoming season. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure having you guys. <laughs>
Lee, how long have you been crowing on race cars? Um, it started way back in, uh, must have been around 1979. Um, my father and um, my uncle started racing TQs back then, so I was just a kid around the pits just cleaning the car and, and uh, things like that, so that's basically where it started from. And how long have you been crewing on sprint cars? Uh, we started back in 2004 with sprint cars, um, straight up the TQs, um, obviously with yourself. Um, so 2004 was starting sprint cars. And what's the most challenging thing about crewing for Jamie McDonald? <laughs> <laughs> A number of things. Um, <clears throat> I guess the most challenging part is, is, uh, is, is reading the track and getting the car right, obviously. Um, next would be um, uh, just making sure all the guys are doing their own particular jobs and, and getting on with it. Um, Normally we don't have a lot of time in between races, so we uh, there's a lot of pressure. Um, so basically, just overseeing everything and making sure everything's perfect. And what what keeps you coming back every year? Uh, the challenge. Um, obviously, I'm a very competitive person as well, so um, there's always a new challenge every year. There's always someone else that that comes up through the ranks that you always want to beat. Um, so there's, there's, there's a number of things, but, but the challenge to go out there and, and beat everyone is, is what we're there for. Very good.